Hello, everyone, and welcome to the final episode of the Euphoria Off-Season Special, a.k.a. Season 2.5, a.k.a. Where's Deficio, a.k.a. Will Dracos ever learn to say League of Legends champion, European oh championship? God. How many times? Anywho... Uh, I'll figure it out, guys, I swear. But today's episode is brought to you by Spider-Man, a new universe. Uh, some of you might know it as Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse if you're outside of Germany. Now, me and my colleagues are decked head to toe in Spider-Man gear and apparel. Someone foolishly gave Vettius a web shooter. It was me. <laughs> <laughs> We've also uh, redecorated this, the set to celebrate, so one at a time, I'm Dracos, a.k.a. Peter Parker. We also have Miles Morales, a.k.a. Indiana Frost Grown Black. Uh, our special guests today are Andrew Vettius Day, a.k.a. Spider-Man Noir. I didn't choose this life, Dracos. <laughs> okay. It chose me. <laughs> okay. But I'm here. Hello. Next, we have uh, Martin DeFisher-Longa, a.k.a. Spider-Gwen, uh, a.k.a. Trevor Quickshot Henry. Hosa. <laughs> I must admit, masks and our show, they just work. They do. They really they just they, work. They go hand Without in again, hand. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> so for anyone watching who wants to know what Vettius is going to do with the Spider-Man web shooter, other than revisit childhood nostalgia, it's <laughs> spray anyone who says anything dumb throughout the entire course of the show. I've given him complete discretion. I so, don't know uh, why, but yeah. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, up, it's up to him. We'll see. It'll mix things up. Uh, today's topic, who is who? It's a new game on Euphoria. We're going to play it with a bit of a Spider-Man twist to celebrate the new film. We're going to talk about the best of the best in the EU LCS. This is the last time I can say that before 2019. So moments. You can't even say the first one. Memories. <laughs> Hopefully I'll say the new one by 2019. We're going to find out. Uh, it's both our memories and your memories. People who were um, kind enough to jump onto Twitter and share with us. Uh, and then we also have a totally made up EU LCS Hall of Fame. You've seen the totally made up EULCS awards. This is the final totally made up EULCS awards. So it is the totally made up EULCS Hall of Fame. Uh, but before that, before we have a bit of fun, the biggest Spider-Man fan among us, Trevor Quickshot Henry, you had something you wanted to say. Yeah, I mean, um, it's hard to ignore the fact that Stanley passed away. And, uh, you know, it, it's a huge blow to professional nerds like myself and everybody else out there. Um, the impact that Stanley has had on nerd life, on mainstream media, on superhero stories on pretty much anything that you can see and touch today, it will take a long, long time for anybody to have enough perspective to actually get a, a feeling on that. And of course, with Spider-Man being one of his first uh, creations, him and Steve Ditko, they created it together. Uh, one of the things that Stanley really pushed on all of his superheroes was like believable, relatable flaws. Peter Parker is a dork. He's a geek. He's a smart ass. He's a bit of an ass. You know, he's got a lot of quips and one-liners. And um, it was really like, like Stan's vision in, in creating characters that like this, that were relatable and you can understand uh, that helped propel him. So, you know, it's, it's a big loss. It's, it's sad. But his memory lives on and his stories are something that we get to celebrate every single day. So very happy for that. Absolutely. I think a huge influence on all of us, of course, a massive impact uh, on the modern world. You talked about it. Media, comic books, video games, films everything uh stanley will des definitely be missed thank you so much trevor for saying that um before we get into it now it's always a bit weird to come off of something like that and to go anything else so we're gonna we're gonna try we're gonna take a complete 180 and go to the most ridiculous segment immediately onto our show and that is who is who which is a new euphoria game we're gonna decide which lcs pro would play which character in a universe we could do game of thrones we could do lord of the rings we could do league of legends but today we're gonna be doing spider-man no surprises and of course the multitude of spider-man universes which is just like a limitless so, font so of just, characters just to clarify we're doing players, not teams. I really wanted to do teams. <laughs> players, <laughs> not teams. Players. I, I'm right. willing to consider teams if you have a hundred percent like clean argument. But do not mess the argument up. Because Don't okay. mess the argument up because you'll take your de no de you're derailing. Well, I'm okay. <laughs> on the I was going to say he's got the can. <laughs> like what? <laughs> he's got the he, he has okay, the so authority. Where, where are we starting? Are we All picking right. a player and then the character? Or? So. I have a list of 10 uh, characters. I'll list them off. We've got two Spider-Mans. We've got Peter Parker and Miles Morales. We have Venom, Prowler, Sandman, Kingpin, Green Goblin, Dr. Octopus, J. Jonah Jameson, and Ooh. Scorpion. So 10. Ooh. Now, I'm not I'm not really inclined to start anywhere in particular. I'd say let's save okay. Spider-Man for Can a Can I start with one that's easy and not on the list? So. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, yeah, that's how the show um, works. Come on. Uh, just, just because it would be uniform. Everybody knows okay, Rhino one, from Spider-Man. No, one second. No. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> let's listen to his <laughs> argument. Spray him. Yes, actually, wait. Yes. <laughs> okay, Trevor. Let's let's spray him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're ready. Um, uh, so, uh, everybody knows like, the Rhino yes. from the Spider-Man universe. Big oh, guy. Oh, we know Rhino. Muscular. Broxer. <laughs> 
Can we ship it? I think we can accept it. Okay, you can score them right, still okay, if so you that's want. Right. No, I'll right. give him that one okay, okay. for now. <laughs> for now. All right, that was f- a freebie. Because I don't know if there's anyone else that can like aspire to I the think... the physical man. All right, can we start with my favorite, please? Yes, oh, no. Sandman, no. right? Because the Sandman <laughs> is a villain I remember growing up, right? But yes. I remember him as just being obnoxious, who can make all kinds of weapons out of all of his body parts, and he could like mold and get out of all these situations because he could turn yes. into sand. Mm-hmm. But then I did further reading, <laughs> and it turns out that the Sandman could. Well, was defeated by a Hoover. He, uh, <laughs> the rain also beat him. <laughs> I'm like, so what kind of player on paper looks really good, comes off really strong, has all these tools, yet is beaten by natural causes? What's the, I mean, come on. I don't think any of the players don't, can don't vacuum. Me so. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I'm thinking like this is a big debate for me because I was like, if we're thinking of like, if we think of versatility, did he just right? ask the question so, and not have uh, yeah, an answer? I prepared? guess he didn't. You squirt yourself real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I got me. Don't worry. <laughs> so versatility we have from Sandman. No, see for but me, but also big weaknesses. I mean, so I'm gonna go with, for me. It's simple. Xerxes. That's just a good one, one, right? That's a good Remember one. When this guy joined the league, yeah. he was renovating and innovating, and we loved it. It was amazing. Then three weeks passed. And we're like, well, where's he now? <laughs> I'm stuck in a Hoover That's in the back. Because <laughs> 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 Ivan can only get you so far. Man. So I, I think I pretty much na- nailed Sandman. That's not bad. Yeah. I like this. This is a pretty good choice. Well, Are you in agreement? Who, like, took charge of the table and didn't have a suggestion. Well, yeah, because I just want to talk about Sandman. I just, okay, I'm going to take charge of the table, us. and I have a suggestion. Uh, I want to go with the Green Goblin. Yes. I'm pretty basic on my Spider-Man villains. I like the I like the big ones, the classics, the movies yeah. were how the I legacy, really got... Guys. Hey, thank you. Green Goblin, also, shout out, has a really cool form in the new Spider-Man uh, movie that's coming out. I think it's G2, and I think it's G2 perks. And the reason why is because the Green Goblin is like the quintessential villain that pretty much everyone's going to grab to when they think about Spider-Man, was like kind of a friend turned into more of a villain i think you have to give it to g2 in that sense and you have to pick like the g2 guy and it has to be perks twice that team was built around him he's kind of like almost the the prince of darkness if you will in our league i also like that because he's got a human persona that's different to his super villain persona in some ways as well what international domestic perks (laughs) (laughs) i was was gonna do a little more polite but um, yeah i think you pretty much nailed that one (laughs) I was already trying. To, I was like, "Who's gonna go there?" I just thought I was gonna. That's soften good. It That's a great. I like that a lot. Um, I got an easy one. I, th- I yeah. think it's easy, but I don't know how contentious it is because Dracus, you selected Venom for the list. Yes. I was hoping Carnage was gonna make the cut. Of course, Venom and Carnage. It are was two really hard to pick ten. I'll be sim- honest. Symbiotes that you yeah, know yeah. I- infect humans and then make like badass like suits and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Peter Parker, Spider Man. He actually became Venom at some point. The reason I want to pick both of them together. Because I think Gilius might just be the symbiote. He is so and good. I, oh, think, <laughs> I think when Gilius joins a team, that team becomes super powered for a time. And then it gets all consumed. And then it gets a bit consumed. And then the symbiote's a bit challenging. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think there are some parallels there that, that are hard to ignore. That's oh. not bad. I actually however, think Gilius however, would go to bed at night like smiling like, yeah, I'm Venom. But, yeah. but, but, but the thing about Venom is he... He has, he hates Spider-Man, right? That is his whole thing. And the reason why he hates Spider-Man is because Spider-Man won't accept him, right? Now, if we think about it, right, Caps recently joined G2, okay? (laughs) And when you think about it, right, someone who's been longing to be accepted by perks is Caps, right? And you think about it and you kind of see this association where Caps is trying really hard to prove himself to his wise and great mentor in Perks and all oh, we're dude. waiting for no, is no, for no, the no, symbiotes no. to not it's, mesh okay. the way that we so want them to. I'm, I'm, I'm different. I actually had a different person, but let, let's be clear <laughs> who was, here. Who was your Venom? I, my Venom was Hillisang because he makes people... <laughs> 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 He makes. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? I'm an innocent bystander. You're in the way. Yes. Get it off the mic. Apparently, it's staying. Collateral damage. Oh, I can't also, get it off the mic. Don't, it's doomed. Don't bang the I'm not going to bang the mic. Okay. <laughs> wow. Wow. I, I gave you the. Right. What was what was All the right. reason? So the reason was he makes everyone he plays with a little more aggressive because he'll and he'll randomly just do aggressive things. Right. That's not bad. The other thing is. So I believe that Peter Parker is reckless, and Hillisang seems happy with reckless, which would fit into the Venom narrative. But the better narrative here that you've just discovered is Caps is Venom, Reckless is Spider-Man, for sure. 
Oh wait, no, this is quick. Because do you remember every time <laughs> the reckless like denied Caps the high five where Caps turned over like, yes, we did it's it, Spider Man. So we were a great team, and he's like. There's just there's and one. Now, oh, oh, but that makes Miles Morales nemesis. Yeah, it's gonna be the new Spider-Man. So now he's training with Peter Parker. They're ready to be in that and Venom. And of course, so okay, okay, but now hang on, hang on. Now of course we're all extremely excited because <laughs> you know, I, for some some people who don't know, Miles Morales picks up the mantle of being Spider-Man. Of yeah. course, like if, for any comic book fans, comic book universes are gigantic. Gigantic, right? There are so many different versions. There's so many different interpretations and different ways of telling the story and different time frames and whatnot. So Miles Morales picks up and replaces it. So hence Nemesis picking up from Caps, replacing Peter Parker, working with Venom. Like Fanatica just Spider-Man franchise universe, maybe. Like maybe <laughs> oh, there maybe surprise, there are another surprise. Earth- <laughs> Fanatic got everything. <laughs> there we go. Right. Okay, that's that's fair. The only problem I have with your theory, and I'm really sorry to make it fall like a house of cards, because you've all forgotten one crucial element. Peter Parker is a happy-go-lucky, witty, banterful, geeky... Are you trying to say wait, something? Wait, wait, <laughs> wait. Except for that movie where he was with Venom, which was all of last season, where he got moody and he danced. <laughs> Bam, Trevor. It's That's Spider-Man so 3. Bam. 2018 That's is oh Spider-Man 3. Yeah. <laughs> High five. Woo. Uh, is it too early to leave? Is it too early to leave? <laughs> I was going to say the witty jokey would be Yankos. Yankos could have been the Peter Parker, <laughs> but I can I can right. What about Dr. Octopus? <laughs> it's it's just dro- you're it's just fun. dropping it. Okay. Dr. Octopus. Let's think about this. Do you, one. Do you have any prepared? Are you just going to keep asking I'm questions? I'm going to keep asking I questions. I was in a way you were the host. <laughs> 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 no, but he's the mad genius, right? He's the creative mastermind that at first. Mythy. But Next. Yes, you're right. That's a great. <laughs> the mad genius that. Villain. Villain. Returning from North America. The f- the, he was the chosen one. The son that left EU, went Wait, to NA, sold out. Hang on out, now, hang on now, hang on now, hang on now. Yeah. What about your Mata Cannon? This is a guy that was not heralded, not particularly you know, renowned for his ingenuity and his intelligence, right? And all of a sudden, he puts together this super evil team in Vitality that potentially redefined the entire meta of the World Championship with, like, crazy ideas, right? And, like, out there... You just whisper mechanical arms. By the way, that's a thing. Yeah, it's just like, his that was players your, that was his your mechanical arms. I was like, huh, ah, interesting. I like Actually, that would make going. a really good Photoshop. Your motto as Doc Ock and just mechanical arms of each of his it's players. Jazuke, like, on top laughing. We and then that's the costume. And then Mowgli becomes his hat as he... The ha- Doc Ox hat. Yeah, that'd be great. I that like was good that. for me. I think your motto. I think right. he's, he's my so the issue is, is that I actually put Kingpin. I put your motto as Kingpin, and I figured his oh. players. Because in my mind, that can work in my too. mind, but does he know kung fu? <laughs> <laughs> He knows a lot of languages. Can but, a lot of languages. Actually, I've never seen Yamato move quickly enough for me to believe. See, but, and and, and Yamato looked, armor. Yamato looked great in the sumo King tournament King. and won the sumo tournament. And Kingpin is a master of sumo. Oh, yeah, he did. He kicked your ass in sumo, too. Deficio let the prepared. side down. <laughs> Deficio <laughs> lost that, that fight. But Ocelot <laughs> could also be Kingpin, if we think about it, with all the so roster moves here, that he's Here's made the thing. that I, This is my theory, working theory, is if we translate crime one-to-one, I think it's trash talk. I think crime and trash talk have to be a one-to-one, Okay. right? And so my theory is Yamato Kane, a brilliant leader, right? Like Kingpin, criminal organization. So team full of criminals, in this case, trash talkers, vitality. All trash talkers. All just <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, trash talkers. You've completely oh, owned that's good. Yeah, you've completely that's owned good. that one. He's, that he's one. definitely, definitely okay. on that case. That's good. Vedius, do you want to just keep proposing things? Yeah, so or do you what, have a what are we thinking about Scorpion? Uh, originally a PI. Oh yeah, Scorp- I love Scorpion. Actually, case. do you even know what a PI is? A private investigator. Just check I just had to choose me. I am the LCS PI, I'll have you know. The LEC investigator. <laughs> I was the LCS investigator, okay. and now we have new missions. Let's continue. Well. Tell me more about Scorpion, and then give me a proposal, because so you he, haven't predicted anything. So the yet. thing about... Wait, no, I predicted a few things very much. Now, Scorpion, he hates... Um, Jameson, yes. right? Because Jameson is the reason why he ended up becoming this crazy man in the first place. Yep. So we need to think of a pro player that was happy, was really enjoying that hates life Spider-Man. in the ULCS. So someone who hates that Spider-Man. hates Spider-Man. Oh. 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 Yeah, I'm who so hates sorry. Reckless? I mean, look, I, I was just, well, no, no. Why are you going to ask that before I'm about to make a statement? What is it? I'm just saying, it's going to be controversial, but wouldn't it be so as? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> okay, can we ship it and move on? He did so, become an <laughs> all star. I was actually going to say amazing, and I was going to say amazing. J. Jonah Sam- Jameson was Nico the Pico, but that's that's <laughs> also really is, I thought amazing's Twitter bio, right? Not the human being, because yeah, I yeah. know him and I worked with him. And Maurice, sure. I love you. You're awesome. But amazing on Twitter. Is J. Jonah Jameson <laughs> ranting <laughs> at the world? So the one I thought of for J. Jonah Jameson was, MP- you're not going to get this home because this is not an LCS pro, but it's definitely Dirk. Yeah. Because if <laughs> Reckless is Spider-Man, Dirk is our boss. Uh, he's like the head of our broadcast. Bring and me pictures of Reckless! <laughs> yeah, anytime we go into a room ever, the first thing he checks, he's like, you guys are doing good, you guys are being productive. Are we talking about Reckless today? <laughs> Just like J. Jonas Jameson. Like, bring me Reckless! Every single time. And it just feels, it's so perfect. <laughs> Oh, that's yeah, and we've already got reckless as We're all just reporters so. for the Daily Bugle, and J. Jonah Jameson is there. That's for you, Dirk. <laughs> that's great. Okay, wait. So I don't know anything about Prowler. Prowler is a villain. I don't know. Do you know what I love about Prowler? What I love about, about Prowler. Prowler, okay? Prowler started life in the universe, right? You introduce him. He's a window cleaner. Yep. Right. And he gets tilted because he cleans windows with inventions that are at Doc Ock level. Oh. But nobody buys his inventions, right? So, like, he legitimately has badass, like, magnetic boot gloves. Uh, mag- gloves are This isn't his thing boots. is that he can walk on walls. Exactly, right? Because he's an inventor and he invents boots to continue cleaning windows, <laughs> right? Like, I just find that amazing. <laughs> There's a um, jump here and I'm he, waiting for yes. it. <laughs> uh, he gets fired, loses his job, and then that's the trigger where he goes, oh, hang on, I've got all this, like, knowledge and awareness and badassness. So he's kind of a reluctant criminal. He has to turn to crime. And then he goes, oh, yeah. All of my gear and goods make me like more badass than James Bond. I'm gonna keep doing this, but I'm not happy with it, right? So, so we he's want got that like, like the everyman's player who's just kind of chugging along, doing his thing. And then he realizes he has all it. these skills, and then for becomes a little bit of no, villainous, yeah. but but you know, um, d- not happy with being the villain. Thinking kick is. Uh, I don't may- no, maybe. Okay, so here's mine, right? I I think it's Vizachachi. He only talks trash when he has to. Crime, right? Only absolutely talks trash. He really feels like he has to. Poppy top back in the day. He always had weird stuff going on. Weird invention. Inventing window style. cleaning. UOL. A lot of those splits. That was a window cleaning gig. Okay. Let's be honest. That man was that man was hanging out. That man was chilling. He was doing what he could to clean the windows, but sometimes they just got a little too dirty. That is uh, that is very very <laughs> elegant of you, Jacobs. And then helps justice when it's needed. You know, like has a few moments in his in his story arcs where he's helping out Spider Man, where he's on the right side. Yes. Of, of the moral compass. Um, and for me, that's Vizachachi with the poppy plays. You know, he's just like chilling. He rolls up. He knocks three people out of an Elder Drake. Bam. I feel like Vizachachi's the prowler. Yeah, that's so much better than mine. I thought Max Lobo, my argument sucks. So I'm not even going to pick it. So <laughs> I like that. That's a good one. Can we you do, guys came prepared. Can we do Black Cat? No, we took Black Cat off for Green Goblin. We could do Black Cat, but I had Black Cat as perks, and it got really weird because I was like, "Wait, if Reckless <laughs> Spider Man, <laughs> Black Cat is perks." End it. End it. End it. <laughs> I was like, well, just, "We don't need to follow that one any further than that." I so, really don't know. I don't know who could be. See the problem. I, pr- I they I, are continuing to go for it. Yeah, no, I'm gonna think about. I'll come back to you later. But I, I don't know who I, I don't know you who. Could pull off Black Cat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy you say that. But you're so wrong. Yeah, I know nothing. It's, I don't, it's your I don't, love of latex the that I think would really pull the whole outfit. Together. I was gonna say it's, it would have been Yamato because I like her outfits. I like his outfits. That's as far that, as I went. That's as far. <laughs> Cat's a it's just it's just really fun when you think about all the different characters and you think about how many years that. Uh, they've existed and evolved over time both in you know uh, TV comics yeah. cinema uh, and it, it's just it's insane to see everybody's different versions of different memories of different characters like where you where you see them so from. I like because I, I read one of the Miles Morales comics I was like okay I think I got a grasp on this guy and I google Miles Morales I'm like alright what can I say about Miles Morales and it's like which of the eight Miles Moraleses would you like to talk about and I was like Yep, and it's like not See, like it says at the back of the comic. The, that's the rabbit hole I went down because I was learning about all the different Spidey suits that existed, and I learned about Miguel from 2099, yes. that Spider Man, um, and how he became a Spider Man, uh-huh. and then I also learned about like not actually future side uh, Spider Man, but it, he's from like World Six One Three Five Zero Zero, and he has like a red jacket, and he's like a really jaded Spider Man, and. I learned about all these different <laughs> Spider-Men Man that exist, and I was like, what happened to my childhood where I just grew up with the happy, friendly neighborhood Spider-Man? And there are so many, there are so many different kinds of Spider-Man. Yes. That's literally like exactly the point. If we go all the way back to the whole thing about like Stanley and Spider-Man is here, it was the fact that anyone could be Spider-Man. And now, um, as Trevor, as you're talking about how, uh, you know, it's 
dependent on your childhood. Yeah. Now there's going to be kids who go in, they see their very first Spider-Man movie and the very first uh, black Latino Spider-Man. Yeah. And literally the idea that anyone can be Spider-Man now. And then you also have female Spider-Man, old Spider-Man, young Spider-Man, Asian Spider-Man, pig Spider-Man. <laughs> I have you know Peter Porker Spider-Ham Thank you. is the title Not and Spider name. <laughs> no, the best thing about it is his snout has a different personality. He's up there. Uh, go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Needless to say, the depths of the Spider-Man universe are pretty much inconquerable, especially in podcast form. I'm pretty sure you could do an entire series about Spider-Man. And I'd, oh, I could. It would take years. I could do it. I think. Don't think you're. Enti- I think they would outwrite arms. you. I think they would write faster yeah. than you. All right, can make but yeah. before we move on, we have to get on because I know you talked about it. Carnage. We have to talk about Carnage Why? because because I found out I didn't actually. I remember Carnage as one of my favorite villains when I was younger, but I don't actually know his origin. And apparently, according to the comics, yes. he was a spawn of Venom after helping Eddie Brock escape. Yes. And so then proud. Carnage attached Dad, to a mass murderer. Correct. So grandpa is down there. Yeah. Really strong and really proud scary. Proud EDM grandpa. Right? So Carnage, to me, is just so cool because of how he's unafraid to be a villain. He's always angry. It's pure evil. He is, it's he pure is the embodiment evil. of Gilius. Yes. He is everything okay. that Gilius represents. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> he has so much confidence. People try to take him down and defeat him. Ooh. And Venom had to go and ask for help to bring We are in, agreement. We like, are in I agreement. Like, I like it too because he has like the similar like very clear weaknesses like most of the symbiotes do. And it's especially perfect because like Gilius is the level two gank king. And like <laughs> when it stopped working for Vitality it all fell apart. And to me that, that's like people figuring out the weakness and we noticed that the trash talking tweet slowed down <laughs> sometime around there too so but the moment he finds a new host he's back in he's there he's back right. in there do not want to see where is he going to end up all right that's who is who um we figured out 13 12 13 yeah. different you'll, Spider-Man you'll compile a list i'm sure <laughs> yes it? i'll oh. make it your problem no we didn't we didn't miss any we even hit no, black cat very briefly all. after oh, trying to we added bonuses problems. we Good lost some um, it's work. all it's all teamwork Job guys team. got through it next Wait, what's up, next Best of the best in the EULCS. As everyone knows, EULCS is dead. It's now LEC forever. Say it. It's League, League of Legends, Legends European, European Championship. Championship. It took three episodes. We got it. All right. Good and job. anywho, I asked a lot of people this morning. Um, that is Monday morning, December the 3rd, when we were recording this. I don't know why I was specific there about that. Because yeah. I realized I shouldn't have listed the time. But now that I did, I kind of have to fully commit. <laughs> anyway, uh, you guys all came through and gave us a ton of awesome moments across EULCS. This is the best moments in history, favorite players, everything in between. So before I open it up to our fan favorites, you guys should have some in front of you as well if you want to reference. Uh, is there any huge moments in the LCS? Trevor's done one of these before where we've talked about big moments with Frost and Betty. So you guys are actually both new to this. What was like the biggest moment for you in EULCS that stood out in your memory when you look back? All right, it's hand on the table. <laughs> <laughs> Better be good. Oh, okay. <laughs> be ready. Um, I was going to say G2 versus RNG. Uh, the fact that the G2 took down and cemented themselves as, because the whole idea about like the kings and whatever, like I listened to you guys, I was like, they say kings a lot, but I really have the kings <laughs> and RNG, like the true monarchs here in Royal. Uh, and to see G2 actually slay them on an international stage in a high pressure situation for Europe to uh, go into another semi-final was absolutely crazy. And welcome to the royal family. Yeah, Frost Gurin. I believe <laughs> Frost Gurin on a podcast quoted Hyanan and Wadid literally smashed Uzi in lane. That's true. I, I heard I that somewhere. That Good was podcast, for sure. Yeah. And it's really um, a shame because that was actually the first one I was going to bring up to try to <laughs> rub it in your face. <laughs> but you're so you're so okay with this now. I mean, there was a time, I think, right after it happened if I had tried to been like, what up, Frost Well, that was my question. So, because... I have many great moments for me, but they weren't directly in the EU LCS. Yes. <laughs> <So> pointing <laughs> pointing I, I the weapon around, there's a lot of nervousness. Yeah. Trigger discipline. Trigger, <laughs> trigger discipline. So, COG EU versus WE was my old personal all time awesome. favorite memory. Which, um, oh no. The, the seven day long best yeah. of Why would you want that? That's actually that? apparently. But that was like, that was really iconic for me because. I remember how good WE were considered at the time and like for Europe to be like, but that what I recall was uh, CLGU and Moscow 5 were two of the best teams for like favorites to win. Azubu were considered good and WE were one of the other big powerhouses. And um, I just remember watching that getting super tense, really worried, the pauses didn't help. And then when they finally won, I felt nothing but relief and excitement that COG AU actually might make it all the way to the finals. And then they got blasted by Frost, but we don't talk about that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we forget those moments. It's an emotional roller coaster up until that point, because we just kind of 
plummeted. Yeah. Everything just ground to a I'm going to add one um, because I talked about this a couple episodes ago, but uh, this is a personal one. The very first time I got to Shoutcast at Gamescom, um, I am like a hardcore esports fan. I've been watching and streaming for years and years and years, pretty much every event possible. And the very first time I got to actually work in Gamescom, uh, day of show off the rehearsals, we work on set. We got to get in about 8.45, doors open to fans at 10, show goes live at 11, right? So we're like two, three hours out. I went backstage because I was kind of like really stressed, really nervous, my biggest show, first year on, on, on EULCS. And the show at Gamescom that year was on my birthday. And I just stood backstage and I looked out and I looked at where the crowd was going to sit and I just started crying. I just burst into tears. I'm like, mm. I'm literally doing something that I love in a venue that I've been watching for a decade at that point. And it just, it, it, it will stick with me forever. Uh, and right, and that, That's a really great moment, but it's not an EULCS <laughs> moment. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> <laughs> All right. That is the universe telling you that I would did <laughs> not broke the it. thing. Right. We might not have. You should just take We've it off. It's, it's designed for adult wrists. It's probably <laughs> choking or child wrists. It's probably choking your your arm right now. Not that if you're an adult watching this, you shouldn't feel okay buying a Spider-Man web shooter toy because they're just as dope as you remember them. But now they also come with a water shooter for when the web thing runs out. Why so. didn't we have a water shooter? Because we're on a set. There's like electronic <laughs> equipment everywhere. Oh I had to choose between <laughs> this and the electronic. Hey, you know, okay. Okay. Anyway, I right. wanted to Read say. moments. You've set a high standard now, though, because this will be the first time that you cast the LEC coming up. And I wonder, will you cry for that too, Trevor? <laughs> Eventually. Eventually. Yes. <laughs> All right, I want to bring in some fan ones. Uh, Can you fix it? No, no stop. <laughs> stop. Just put it away. <laughs> See, this is why you don't give us toys. <laughs> it goes on the ground now. No okay. one gets good, to play with shot, the Spider-Man web shooter. Uh, I apologize in advance. I'm going to butcher your name. Danette Swanapool? Swanapool. Swanapool. Yep. At Danette S101 uh, said, Don't know about my favorite, but was so shocked when Forgiven had his breakdown about military duty with, we're correcting this one, she originally wrote Pyra, but was corrected pulse. to Pulse yep. on the mic. I had only started watching EULCS and was like, whoa. And that was a hugely emotional moment. No one was ready for that. Pulse wasn't ready for that. Yeah. We weren't ready for that. No one expected that to happen. There was a, there's a tiny chance that this lady is South African. That's a pretty Afrikaans name. Danette Swanapool. Um... But I think uh, what caught me out when when that actually happened is that Forgiven has always been sort of the anti-hero. You know, he's always been a bit more Hilly of a villain. esque in right? the trash talk. Yeah, for sure. Well, I think he's a bit more pure evil. Like like and, uh, Forgiven is like anti-Venom. Trevor. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and I think um, uh, when you saw Forgiven actually break down and, and you actually saw the emotional side of him, that was more powerful than anything else. You know, like this, this guy that's got such a rough exterior and has no problem flaming anybody. Uh, that'll stick with me for a long time. And then he came back. And then he took a team to Worlds and semifinals. And then he left and he dominated EU Masters when he came back. <laughs> and now we just get random and pictures of him doing his military service. Can I say, service, can I say like an inappropriate joke? I'm going to say an inappropriate joke. Somebody on Reddit quoted that, imagine if your country's economy was so bad, you needed Forgiven's farming skills to boost them. So they drafted him. I just thought that was so clever and so <laughs> elegant. And he said he's coming back yep. in summer. Yep. He says that he's guaranteed a team top four. So... He, that's put, that's a big put that on his I resume. think we're all It waiting. was pretty good, actually. It wasn't just that he put himself out. Like, he was selling himself. He's like, please buy my boosting services. I guarantee you top four. Pretty consistent, I think. It's just... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, pretty much. What was it? The team stopped scrimming. Forgiven doesn't need to scrim. He needs you just stay away from him. He'll carry you to top yep. four. And the dude was just always so good. Mechanically, so good. he was often considered like the rival of many top eighty carries. Yep, and. Uh, to this day, he still tries to inspire. He's also the guy. He's also the right? guy you love to hate. Yeah, you know, you, he he enjoyed playing the villain, and, yeah, and he loves it. And he had the skills to back it up. I hope to see him back one day. Here's a recent one, uh, a new one from Panna Allen at Allen Nutsu. Yeah, go for it. Got it. Uh, at Aduwamne Law kissing at Kasing. <laughs> that, <laughs> that was very cute. cute. Because that was cute. Uh, Kasing just froze. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was such an wasn't that already the uh was that the deficio it was, it was interview? the interview yeah. with yeah. deficio with, with the yeah. best support of all time yep and yep. odo comes up to says thank you for saving me and, kisses <laughs> and then leaves <laughs> the best part about kissing and also jizuke on that subject is just their laugh and how once they lose it they just can't keep it together like he's we're so lucky that was the end of the interview from a broadcast standpoint because if it had kept going he would have just broke down there like would have been absolutely nothing left 
Oh, man. Frost, could you see any stand out to you? There's a ton. I printed out two pages of these. You guys actually sent in so many more. Do you so want more standouts I mean, of whatever, the EULCS? Whatever, yeah, like whatever stands out to you like from this page. We if can we're one. talking about emotional ones, I have to say uh, Jizuke breaking down after the Splice uh, Vitality third place match, yep. wasn't it? That was the one in spring, the one they lost. Mm, yep. No, it was the one they won. Who did that they was face? against Misfits. Misfits, yeah. there we go. Um, well, you break down off the boat, so <laughs> different, different reasons, true. though. Reasons, yeah. Didn't do too well, took fourth, took third, the, and then had uh, his world chances riding on the fact that if Fnatic won, that they would go to Well, from Worlds. their perspective, they'd already locked in Worlds because they didn't see Fnatic losing that final. Exactly. But, which is a large part of why he cried, but you're right. It was, yeah. It was a very emotional moment for him. And I think so. that's kind of a lot of the disconnect. Um, my uh, partner's parents are really big sports fans, but they can't quite grasp this idea of like eSports. Um, he loves the competition. Like the, the dad will um, watch champion select, like get very much into the games. He's like big on like football and cricket and rugby. Uh, but when you see a player have an emotional outburst like that, I think it really kind of connects those last two missing dots of eSports to sports. I get that. On top of that topic, it's um, something that also resonates with me is the number of talented rookies we produce in Europe as well. Um, we think about Misfits. We think about Vitality, the two easy ones to remember. But for years, Europe has been known as kind of the innovators and the young town that always comes up to kind of take over the next generation. And people already talking about, you know, Nemesis this year. Splice have picked up a new rookie mid laner as well. Schalke. We've got Jeskler on XL as well. Schalke yeah. with Abadage. Um, so, like, the fact that Europe con consistently supplies us with really fun, new, interesting talent that's always able to challenge. And I, I actually love this in the game because you've got all the recent ones, but I'm going to give a real old school of, of new talent coming in and like surprising people. Dragonborns were a team that qualified for the EU LCS oh when there was qualifications <laughs> open. Okay, like Grandpa in the corner here. EDM I, Grandpa. Uh, EDM like Grandpa, you, you but there's the no title. EDM today, right? <laughs> it's just, it's, it's, um, but Dragonborn showed up at the, the tournament. It was in uh, Warsaw in Poland. And um, they were playing. It was also the event where Copenhagen Wolves qualified in the very famous <clears throat> uh, Bjergsen moment from Deficio. <laughs> Real old school fans will remember that. But Dragonborns, they had this like, epic moment where Shushe, he started the team, former Fnatic, and he had Hosan, who was his AD carry from, from Poland, who was there with him. They, they won. They were not meant to win. Nobody expected them. And Shushe, you know, he's a bigger fella. You know, he cosplayed as... Gragas, uh, and at this particular event, he got so excited that he ran up to do a chest bump with Hosan, and he yeah. flew the other direction. <laughs> Hosan was off his feet, and D-Man just burst into tears of laughing. He could not control himself, and for about three minutes after, I believe he was casting with Jason Kaplan at the time, Jason just had to carry the broadcast because you just heard Lee snickering in the background and you could hear the tears rolling down his eyes. And it's just to prove the point of like young talent that surprised even five, six years ago. Yeah, I mean, we've all been there. Look, like the recent version of that is the Jack Troll, Tom Kent moment. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, it was just, it was, you couldn't stay on track after that one, but I like the old one. You brought up Copenhagen Wolves, you brought up Deficio's Bjergsen moment. Um, Christopher Moonbjerg? Good luck. I don't think you pronounce the D if it's Danish. Maybe if it's in the middle. I don't know. Deficio taught me the rule at some point and I've forgotten completely. He says, as a Dane, I will always remember Copenhagen Wolves' first win in the ULCS and Berg Bjergsen getting the pentakill on Syndra back in season three. Yet another old school example. That town admittedly left us, but more European talent getting produced and like the brief shining legacy of Bjergsen before Copenhagen Wolves went... The best part about that is because of that pentakill and the fact that it was a win, it completely changed revisionist history. Yeah. Because Bjergsen played several games with that team before they won anything. <laughs> but nobody remembers that fact. EDM grandpa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but also, he didn't play for like the majority of the split. No, he, missed, like, he, he missed the first six games. Then yeah. he played the back 12. Oh, it was six. Okay. Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he played four games that were all losses. Yeah. And then the I'm fifth. Sorry. It was he's the fourth always the fifth, played so. and he's always been good. He got a pen. That's how it's that's, been. I agree. TSM forever. Revisionist history. I don't Just think that's the current history. Even my TSM fans. <laughs> <laughs> It was Mithy's fault. <laughs> <laughs> but we're not here to talk about the Origin roster. Uh, another one. This is the old school classic, the Pharrell and Lord 3K ELO Shockwave. <sighs> Such a good call. Uh, and the fact that it I happened, there's, too. They're picking a lot of really specific plays. So, like, but, yeah, but the thing about that was, that was, 
I don't want to say it was a meme, but it was a thing because he was the highest ELO player in yeah. Europe, yeah. right? He was 3K or just under 3K ELO, but he never landed a 3K ELO shockwave, right? I mean, and yeah. then in no, a game... When you're at 3K ELO, every shockwave you land is yeah. a 3K ELO shockwave. <laughs> if you have the ELO, <laughs> yeah, every yeah. shockwave you do yeah, has yeah. that ELO. Every but, shockwave I land is a then, gold four shockwave the, video. The, <laughs> the thing about that play that was so memorable was because it was, I believe it was an elimination match. It was. Right? And it was a game... And they were losing. Yeah, it was Team Alternate versus Millennium, yes. right? Yes. And it was in that choke point. They started losing a fight. I want to say it was Aranea that died. It was. It was 4v5, and a Rumble ult came down on top of the Oriana Shockwave. Aranea was, just, spoke to me about this very clip, and we will get him back to talk about it. And he, he was just going, just, I'm so we, should not have, <laughs> we should not have started that fight. <laughs> and Frelin Lord's like, I got this. <laughs> and he wins it. But literally, if the other team had not chased because they got a free kill, they would not have set themselves up for the Rumble Shockwave combo. Yeah. So... And that's that's the serendipity. History. Outside of the Ryu slash Faker Zed play highlight, I think we can pretty much argue that pretty much every great moment was someone misplaying or someone like outplaying. It just depends on who you hey, give the credit. The to. one play I, yeah. that everyone always remembers is the Snoopy Chogath play, the one underneath the tower where he used the passive to tower dive, find a kill, flash out, and survive with his like one. That was Chogath, three. wasn't it? And it was uh, yeah. corner bush mid left. He was red side. It was, and he it came was over. just mid lane. He died yeah. in the tower, got a kill, and then he flat. I remember that. The health he got back from the kill from his passive yeah. allowed him to survive. So yeah, that didn't happen like, much after that. That was yeah, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> so Steven. someone who couldn't. Uh, join the show. We just ran out of room on the desk. Is medic, but there's a lot of people in here who have favorite medic moments. So I want to give one at Logan. Oh god, so many numbers. Dude, three, the four. names like it's free. It's a cute attempt, but Logan. Yeah, three, Logan. he can't say LEC. This is actually just like a warm up. Oh wait, it's actually like eight digits. One three three two three eight. Yeah, that's why I stopped. <laughs> All right. Hopefully that's not like your social security number or something. All right. Uh, <laughs> so perks trolling medic. This one was on fire. Do you guys remember that interview? Tell so, me. Yes, I do. That was when, um, after the interview, he went for a handshake, yeah. and then Perks had already turned around, so he then went for a pat on the back. It, was it, it fist bump first and yeah. then handshake? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I just remember that he had tried both, and Perks was completely oblivious I to just, all I remember it especially, and this is part of the reason why I love our production team, is that they, they like, slow mode <laughs> it and ran it back. And then after they put that on the broadcast, they, like, shared it with the office. And just, like, <laughs> lived in that glorious, like, awkward moment for at least a month it afterwards. Is, it is really fun because the entire production team on ULCS and ILEC next year, they fully buy into the, the nonsense and the, the, the fun that we have. And I distinctly remember a couple of weeks towards the end of Summer Split, we were, uh, Deficio made some bold claims about champions that nobody else agreed with. It was, it was just Deficio. So we were on a mission to prove him wrong. And we had graphics that were like, heart, you're wrong. We had stat trackers going, heart, you're wrong. And literally everybody... The casters didn't need to troll Deficio. <laughs> it was it was stats and graphics and producers and scriptwriters. They were all in on the gag, so it was good fun. This is a classic moments that I look forward to in the years to come. Um, another medic moment. Actually, wait. We'll, we'll jump around. Medic, you got your time on the sign. It's time for Vedius. I was going to say, uh, a Dracos moment? No, I didn't put any from me. The, you know the one that they all reference. <laughs> it's the one that we definitely... Well, we can't reference yeah, all well the time. Well played, H2K. <laughs> well, very well played. It was uh, exceptionally beautiful, uh, you could say. Looking forward to seeing more Sheriff next year. Yeah, looking forward for more Sheriff on Origin. Yeah, really. The, the mythy Sheriff combo is doing it for me. Fat Child Cookie, at Fat Child Cookie. Thank you. Your name and your tag are the same. Thank you. Uh, my man at Riot Betty is causing short moments of silence after saying edgy cringe things mid game and, and Cass leaving his co host speechless. <laughs> I occasionally endeavor. As, in as, such as somebody new to Ala Vedius uh, uh, and, and Le Cringe, uh, how are does you looking Frost, at me? You know, I am. No. How, how, how does Frosk interpret Vedius cringe? Well, I don't actually think Vedius is that cringy. That's true. I'm I mean, not. it's all relative. Oh, that answer sucked. I have five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have five brothers, and Vedius is basically like any one of them. What I what I love is I don't know how I feel about that. Five <laughs> brothers. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a large number. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that so funny? Yeah, I don't know why that. Uh, um, but we I, do actually I've, practice. Like uh, we we talk about strategically how you handle the comedy and stuff like that. So 
The point of a podcast is that you talk to the audience, people. I'm sorry. Yeah. That was, she had to let it out. It wasn't safe, it wasn't safe for the broadcast. Anyhow. I was told that I had to be on special behavior for this. Special episode. behavior. All ages broadcast, my go. friends. I there had to get go. it out, Anyhow. though. Vadius, I'll be honest. I was a bad co-caster back in the day. You said weird stuff, and I just like looked at I mean, you, I just said and I was like, you know what, things. friends? <laughs> That's your bridge. <laughs> yeah. Now I follow you, man. You know, it's a skydiving trip. It's bungee jumping. We try to bring it back, but we don't always make it In back. casting, there's like this thing. I don't know how you guys feel, but there's always this thing where the play-by-play cast, usually it's normally the play-by-play casters. I had Dom Romer, who was literally like the socks and sandals of casting. Laser through cream <laughs> cheese. Anytime go. you can say it. He said it. And I had Lays uh, Pulse, who is just like the anime lord. And the thing yeah. is, is, when you have like goofy play-by-plays, if they throw it, where it's just like a ridiculous, stupid joke, you stand there, you like make eye contact, you're like, I guess I got to go get it. No, tell me. What do you <laughs> think of that anime? <laughs> no. so the thing is, it, you actually have to pre- like create s- safe zones and uh, like have yes. those discussions. Because when we would do tricasts, Deficio is the most like... I don't know what anti weeb is. Oh, he you is. know, he he he's a like normal. What person. is attack the What is attack the titan? He's, oh, that was one of the greatest titans lines ever. Titans attack. Like oh, he, he couldn't even remember the the titles. Oh, now the I haven't content. watched anime in modern era, right? But I at least know what attack on titan is. I'm aware of its existence and the title. Carry on, you were saying. But the delivery on that was just so good because I remember Pulse and Deficio casting together. And all I remember is Pulse turning to Deficio going, so how are you getting on with that anime? And he goes, man, I love those Titans when they're on the attack. They're just, <laughs> they're so good, man. <laughs> and he was just trying really hard. And it was just so good. And you could just see Pulse, he just lost it. And Deficio was like, what? I, I thought I thought I nailed it's that. Like, it's like <laughs> trying to, you're going to really, if League fans, you'll feel me on this one. It's like trying to get your your fans into esports and you show them which champion is like i don't know let's say alistair and then every time they see any champion enter the screen they're like oh is that one alistair, alistair yeah like, it's like that yeah no, dad like <laughs> alistair's the purple cow like ah oh, man they're all a little purple right like <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, casting like Vetti sounds like when you're trying to teach your your parents that like esports is like a real thing to take like very seriously and then you turn on like an eulcs game and unicorns of love are playing you're like <laughs> yeah, that's I, the I get that. Of love. But that's what I like. Wait, is that that unique... was my most favorite team. They loved. The of course, it of was. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I like that unique flair, and I also find that um, uh, some of the more emotional lines are, uh, also stick with fans. Uh, G two got crushed at I don't know one of the many international events, <laughs> and I, I I don't remember distinctly what it MSI, was. But leading up to yeah, I got, I got to pick one right. Like there's only, there's only so much time. But um, during the course of the series, uh, I was just really angry they were losing and I was really pissed that I had to cast the G2 game that got them eliminated. And leading up to the day in, in an interview, Perks had actually said something about their dream was to win and, and you, know, you know, beat the odds. <laughs> there wasn't a dream, it was a nightmare. And I actually used the line, you know, they're, they're, you know uh, they came in, the dreams are dead, um, the nightmares have taken over and they're done, they're out. It came from a very impassioned place because I was angry with them. And fortunately, it, it, it fits like the, the tone and the theme. And there was a lot of people back in the day that were just like, dude, that, that hurt. You know, that really, it hit home. And I was like, I feel you. They suck internationally. Why do we only send them? And I will never forgive them. That pain will be with me forever. The best part these moments. is if you're watching right now, the pose Trevor's doing where he like holds his arms across his stomach and like bends over slightly, like kind of like he's got some kind of stomach problem. He does that in real life when he's disappointed <laughs> in European. He's like sits in the corner and mopes <laughs> like he's been traumatized by poor performances from European teams. It's, tr- it's true. It's true. Speaking of unicorns of love, though, I just want to point out um, Pascal... Kettner at Galaxy's 98, uh, UOL chant in Hamburg, but also just want to point out the UOL final in Hamburg. We had the Samurai versus Rama, yeah. topless unicorn. It's really rare that he wears a shirt. We work with him now. Yeah. It's really weird. <laughs> <laughs> he has a shirt on on the regular, which just feels out of place, if I'm honest. But, like, that was so cool. I never thought mascots could, like, because me, mascots in traditional sports, growing up, I was like, oh, it's the man in the duck costume. Like, there he goes. Hi. Like, it was I never, never like, had mascots. It was never, like, up. ripped dudes. Like, yeah. one is a samurai, the other one is uh, a like, unicorn. A unicorn. <laughs> a demon unicorn. He's I don't know. Is a real it, was, thing, yeah, Dad. it was super metal. And I, like, it's really hard to explain to people that it was super cool because you go, unicorn they go ah, and you're like but also no, part of the reason he's like was amazing. the rick like, flair of mascots agreed it's just really hard to explain how awesome but it is but it's city, awesome you know, unicorns the organization is from hamburg they had a local yeah, yeah. fan base like everybody remembers unicorns man from our audience who, who attended for a very long period of time like watching and and feeling the energy of of the fans and and 
um, the, 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 the guys coming out to cheer for their favorite teams and players. It is one of the best experiences ever. And with Worlds in Europe, and this is Euphoria coming in 2019, like, you just have to go watch a show. Go yell and scream and, and take part because you can't put in words what that feeling is like. I so, think uh, when, what, it was 2016 that Worlds was last in Europe? And it was yes, in the so. Mercedes-Benz Arena in That's Germany. Correct. It was Koo Tigers versus SKT. Yep. Uh, I attended that one as a fan, and I will never forget hearing the Koo Tigers chant because it's a 360 arena, and how it went around, it was the Koo Tiger, and you could hear yeah. it. I was quack, 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 quack. Yeah, yep. I was inside of it when it went around, and then I went out to uh, use the restroom and like get food, and you could hear it from outside, like in jaw. Oh. Crazy. I we still were there together, it. by the way. I don't awesome. know if you remember that. <laughs> Did we? It was it you that I fell asleep on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so game three was really good. Game four was not. Not good. good. <laughs> not a good game. That reminds me of uh, the first final I did in Paris with you and Officio um, when the crowd started chanting for uh, I want to say Soaz on day one. Yes. And then Han Summer on day two. And then the crowd sung Happy Birthday. Aww. The Han Summer, and you, you could just the thing about it is you could feel the passion in the arena, right? There was it wasn't just yelling, there was like genuine caring and love, and everyone was supporting Han Summer, and like Han Summer was breaking down. Me and Trevor were crying, like it was just it was I so cry. emotional. Only, on, a little, only a few times, and it was just it was so awesome. And like, I would highly recommend should, always going yeah. to a live event because. Like the fans are super passionate, and like that's what makes Europe great because we have such awesome, awesome fans. So I can't wait for Wars this year. It's gonna Dude, be I'm ready. Gonna be hype. I'm so ready. We were there in 2015. Now we're back. Yeah, uh, that's hype. So we've had a lot of good moments and memories. Before before we say goodbye officially, I want to jump into what I think will be my favorite section: the totally made up EU LCS awards. Now the totally made up EU LCS Hall of Fame. As always. There's like some of these things you could call like legitimate awards as far as some analytical prowess. <laughs> if you pick them, they're not legitimate. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I put totally made up in the title. To be fair, I was pretty much told I had to because I wasn't allowed to solo decide the he, ELCS Hall of Fame. He didn't run any of these by me. These no, absolutely all not. Just him. I, nope. I heard Deficio approved. Sure. Wait, well, how, okay. That's all it takes. Put the mask on. Do we put the bet here or do we put the bet at the end? No, the bet, you're going to see because when there's contention somewhere. That'll be the bet? That's going to be Okay, so the we have a bet. Okay. 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 Great. Any, sorry. That's your deficio approval. Just, yeah. Oh my god. All right, Trevor. He's got really thick lips. <laughs> <laughs> okay. First award. We'll let that hang award. for first a second. Award. Yeah. So Give first it. up, this is the serious one. This okay. is the important one. Best player all time EU LCS. Deficio. No. No. He definitely was not. <laughs> is, that, is that in contention? Is, it, he's not even in the race. Right, so oh. my nominees are. No, just pick one. Yeah, but like I need to. Talk, I need to have a conversation about this because okay, it's hard. We're all gonna we, yes, pick one. We're not fine. just gonna let you have it. No, that's fine. We can have the discussion. Okay. It's a podcast, Drake. Right? let me speak. <laughs> God, <laughs> God. <laughs> so, so, I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> um, expecting needs to be on there. Soaz needs to be on there. Mm. Um, the other one I was thinking of was Alex Ish. He's another debate for me. Um, and then Perks is another one for me, and Reckless. So those are probably <clears throat> the five for me. So the thing that you always have to take into this is you have to take in longevity of career. Yep. You need to take in uh, ceiling, so like potential ceiling, and if they ever reached it, yep. and, and the fact that if their performance was, you have someone like Imp, who Imp at his ceiling mm. um, was incredible, has a very long career, but also had a lot of troughs in there. So that's why... I understand. And also accolades. So not only their actual ability, how well they play, but exactly. were they a on good teams trophy that case. won? True. Like until Reckless came back to Fnatic, you know, post whatever, Re Reckless had ups and downs, right? Like mm -hmm. Everyone remembers elements that did not go particularly valid, well. Valid. <coughs> Which is, I think, the only two things <coughs> that you could put against someone like Soaz and Reckless. Like all three of those uh, put together, I think it has to be between Soaz and Reckless. Not that Alex Ish uh, wasn't an incredible player, or XPK wasn't great, but they're, you know, the fact is, is that Soaz and Reckless are still playing, and they're still playing at the top of their game. And while they did have troughs in there, for me, it's it's just between those two. I don't think I there's agree. anyone else. I really don't think Perks could be considered one of like considering he's played yet, four long enough. back to back titles. You could. The, the thing is, right? The, the question is best EU LCS player all time. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to add some rules to this totally made up Hall of Fame. Yeah, yeah, I, can be, can be, yeah. You can make your own categories. And right? because it has to be EU LCS, I'm going to discount Alexich 
and expect his performances before EU LCS was introduced. Oh, okay. Ooh. Well, that so much kills 2011, all of Moscow 2012 <laughs> is gone, right? And I mean, Moscow Five killed Moscow Five. Like they, you know, they took a gambit. It didn't work. They had um, to kill everything in sight. But I think if, if I look at just wrong movie, <laughs> uh, I think if, if, I, if I look at just six um, six years of EU LCS. I think only Soaz and Reckless can really come into the conversation as the guys that have been around for the entire time and have won multiple titles and they've been on multiple teams, etc. I would then put Perks as like a healthy like third person just now yes. butting into that conversation. There we go. The you know? issue for me is it just feels like I think Perks is like I don't think the the length of his career is much of an issue. It's just that when I think back on like how great Perks has been, there are splits where like the first split for G two Perks was a monster. Perks trick forever, but like that started to fade as Fen and Mithy came into the forefront. If I think about like the the Misfits G two final that was just like oh. Over in the blink of an eye, like yeah. that super short one. That was a lot of Sven just being an insane AD carry and G2 just playing back and letting Sven carry. Now, maybe Perks could have carried, like if that was his job within the team, but I think it's hard to definitively say in the same way that, like, you could say for Reckless and some of these additions of Fnatic that, like, he was the center of attention. Who's who's your nominee? I said Reckless, 100%. Okay. I think Soaz is, is good and he's always been reliable, and it's maybe it's my bias that he just hasn't always been a very flashy player, that I don't look at him so, in the same way. Hypothetically, if we were to vote between Soaz or Reckless, do you think we could get a like majority vote? Should we try it? Okay. Are we gonna close our eyes? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. Know Put the no, masks no, no. on. Yes. <laughs> okay. Who could it if be? if Reckless is the best, I'm gonna have to rooting. Best EU LCS player of all time to be admitted to the Hall of Fame I mean, on our, our totally made up awards. He's literally our Spider Man. If we don't pick Reckless, <laughs> <laughs> there's there's nothing to do with that. <laughs> right? If, is Reckless your best? Yes or no? I'm going to say yes. 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 I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. Three to one. It's Soaz. It's Soaz? It's you Soaz. Think it's Soaz? There you go. Oh. All right. I mean, that's how voting works. That's democracy. We need a pen to write this down. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it, it's such, it's such be a weird difficult... It's weird to publicly It's such a difficult so thing because are. it is a made up term but you're also like without like defined criteria I think it's always a really I think, And that's the thing about MVP or anything else is the criteria deliberately aren't clearly defined so yes. that people can have their own opinions so that we can have these discussions it's interesting to me that you guys rank so so highly and so is obviously an incredible player he was a number two on my list um because what about forgiven he <laughs> 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 doesn't have the same longevity of the awards been more time this. on twitter than he has in the eu <laughs> yeah, dude. the award's been given you can't just like yeah, no, right, the discussion. it's so as so good. as best player all time in the totally made up eu lcs hall of fame have to say totally made up in case he needs to add that to his fans. you know his little graphic he made when he's looking <laughs> for a new <laughs> team with like little accolades yeah. this needs to be on there definitely add okay. it. it's 100 percent three to one majority next <laughs> one also serious also very analytical most handsome player Ooh. So I said. Does Deficio count for this? this Hall, of, Hall of Fame. Oh, Hall of Fame complicates this. All time. So I believe that Deficio is a very handsome man, but he became handsome once he became a caster. Yeah, he was not, not handsome. He had team. ratty you guys are rough. Ratty hair. I'm, I'm sorry, but I saw him no, on he that really, final. He grew into that world, jaws. You know, like, like, it took time. I agree. Okay. Like, once, once he got suited and booted. Would you just step into your face? Blue, oh, he did. You know, like <laughs> he does. I think, like, Cold looks very handsome in a suit. I think oh, very um, man. trashy. Cold, cold, yeah. Got cold, you. Cold now. <laughs> he changed his name. Yeah. <laughs> I, was so, he did. I was trying to show my flashcards. Oh, in right. Yeah. Okay, it wasn't clear. I made flashcards. Okay. <laughs> Okay, but Cold yeah, I think, I think that's, that's, that's good. Um, Xpeke. See, I thought Xpeke mm. is a very beautiful man. Xpeke is, but yeah, I guess I define dead. beautiful and handsome as very different things. So Now, are we taking into longevity of beauty? That's exactly <laughs> what I'm thinking. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Career Peke, highs. I love you to bits. I just use it while you can. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think... I think Reckless needs to get thrown up there as well. I, I definitely Reckless, think Reckless, yeah, dude. I mean, specific hairstyles, like I will veto Ooh. some of it. Like Man Bun. Mm. Bearded Cabo Shard is on that list for me. Ooh. Okay, well, Bearded, bearded the, okay. Whippo. Max Lore is a very handsome man right now. Oh, bearded Max Lore, yes. unbearded Max Lore, no go. Bearded Max Lore. Mm. Bearded Max Lore in leather jacket? Yeah. We saw the picture. On the bright side, and I also think this is not a category we should vote for because beauty is in the eye of the beholder. It's very true. And true. everybody true. is beautiful to someone. <laughs> wow, seriously? I think we're just going to vote, dude. It's not the person like, you're married. Okay, you're let's set, be This is a positive category. <laughs> this is a positive category. Like, winning this, it's not like if you lose this award, it's like, I'm sorry, it's I all really or nothing. Wish I actually, <laughs> you either win this award or no one is, will ever love I you. Really <laughs> wish, I really wish everybody else could have seen what I saw because you guys didn't even blink. Right? <laughs> 
I said that, and there was just uniform. Yeah, you're like, like, where do you want us to go with yeah. that, Trevor? You're correct. Here, here, here we go. Here we go. Now transition, Trevor. Here's the participation award. We'll put it at the end for Trevor Henry. Yeah. Thank you. You can go now. Remember when the, the play-by-play caster throws it, and you have to go yeah. get it? Okay, okay, I get it. I get it. That's fair. That's fair. I should have known better. <laughs> All right. I think length of career has to be included in this discussion a little bit. Not like... I just don't think Max right, Floor is eligible. On. I thought we'd agree everyone is he beautiful. Needs to what? No, I, we need a winner. <laughs> when I made the graphic then get to <laughs> promote this episode, there will be a most handsome player. Right. Now, cold then one. You need, to, you need to give us a panel to vote from. I think we've got Cold, our Max Floor, or Ex Peque. Yeah, those are the three that came up. Anyone yeah, sure. else? I don't want like to get behind those. Yeah, cold, Max Floor, Ex Peque. Okay. okay, then okay. go down the line and just say who it is. I'll go Ex Peque. I'm going to go Cold. I'm going to go Max Floor. I'm going to go Cold. Right. Cold. There we go. That's That's one in uh, Spring vote. Split too, when we did the totally made up awards. So that kind of makes sense. He's there a two for. He's a pretty cold. bold, most handsome player in the history of the EU. That's it. Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame. Who knows? You know, uh, people are getting angry. We didn't put Genji in there. He was a. Mm. He was a handsome man. <laughs> Next game? <laughs> <laughs> Worst game ever. <laughs> Worst game in the history of the EU LCS. Worst to watch. Well, I mean, we Worst recently had a 0 in Zyra game uh, not too long ago. I'm not talking about your solo queue. <laughs> no, it was an LCS game. Uh, Caps versus Giants. I remember that. The Caps. That but that wasn't that bad to me. I mean, it was it was hard to watch for the Zyra player. I've already forgotten. What about name. Caps versus Exile when he played Irelia and showed us why you're not allowed to <laughs> champion? What about <laughs> Invictus Gaming versus Fnatic? Hey. And hey, 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 they didn't, hey, they didn't hey, play hey. in the EU LCS. Yeah, Frost. So your game also, is irrelevant. It that says never happened. Just the worst game ever. <laughs> and this is the EU LCS awards. <laughs> the EU LCS awards. Oh, yeah, actually, it's you not are explicit. Goddamn it's EU not LCS explicit. team in the. <laughs> what I will say, though, what I will say is I think there is one element that, that is not being counted yet. I, there is a point where you get so bad and so ridiculous and so terrible that it becomes art and it becomes beautiful. Oh, yeah. And. There That's are called a clown fiesta. Oh, oh yes, but here, here in Europe, oh, we, we take yes. it to the next level. We have yeah. a specific name for it. It's mm -hmm. the Telly Clown Wars. <laughs> and of course, legacy fans will remember yep. the day that Nahun broke the losing streak. 0-16 <gasps> to 1-16 with Origin versus Rocket. 80-something yep. minutes. I think there was about 20. That was 20. three games. Was that the hat uh, game? That was one game. Yeah, one it was game a best of three. Game game series. Series. It was, was a best of three. Game. Yeah. Yes. And it was the clown hat, clown noses. We were celebrating. We had confetti. The confetti stayed on the set for about six weeks. We couldn't get rid of it because there was so much of it. But like it was neither team knew how to close the game. Neither new team knew. I think there was 15 or 16 inhibitors killed that game. See, it was insane. For me, when you guys take this, like, I totally understand when you just see some, like, ridiculous clown fiestas and the play is exploding and you're just, like, closing your eyes because it hurts. For me, I actually think the more disappointing ones are the ones that should have been close, which is why I say things like Invictus Gaming versus Fnatic, and then one team gets blown out. For the EU LCS, though, I would say it's Misfits versus G2, where... The Which three time? game final? Oh, final. Three yeah. game final. Where you thought it was going to be great, of gameplay, like and then two minutes of gameplay. One team just gets smashed. Hands on was like, I guess I'll play my favorite champion just because yeah, I'm didn't here. Go well, yeah, yeah. They were winning that game until they didn't. That last one, the Draven one, and then yeah, they just died to the Kogma because Kogma was and just. Let's not game. forget the game two Rengar from Max Law. That, that was, was a pick. Uh, I think that, it's, that, this, that this honestly has to be unanimous. one of the worst like, finals already. I've ever watched. Wait, okay, so there's the one that I do want to bring up as special mention, which is the worst game that I have personally ever cast, and it was Spring Week Five Vitality versus Misfits. It was the 28 minute first blood. It is the latest first blood in oh. EU LCS history, and since there's no more EU LCS, the latest first blood ever in EU LCS. It was the Vitality lineup that never did anything and lost as slowly as humanly possible. So that was Joko, Nuke Duck, Cabo, Cabo Shard, yeah. Steelback, and A I want to say... Was it ADD? No, or no, no. It was the support... The Don't Korean tap. The microphone is like so it. No, it wasn't the Korean sport. It was, it was the guy that subbed in after Hachani was like Hachani, running it down. Yeah, yeah. It was the guy that they brought in who had like played once or twice in season. I think he's I AED or AOD. 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 Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. But that Vitality roster, they literally just wanted to try and like beat you with age and never did. So They will out-age you. Yeah. Doesn't I think work. you're allowed to vote for that one. I'm still getting G2 Misfits. <laughs> we can vote. I mean, Origin Rock is by far the worst game I've ever watched in terms of quality of League of Legends. But yeah, I think it was so have bad. Have you watched a lot of the other games? I honestly think we have to give it to Origin Rock just because it was so bad it was great. I mean, like, it was iconic. Okay. Origin Rock 
Worst EU LCS game I didn't game even have to convince them. I'm on board. Woo! It was 80 minutes, Trevor. It was, it was 80 minutes. That was one I game. Went, it was a best of three. It. I cost uh, I like <laughs> fell asleep, woke up, and fell asleep again <laughs> in a single game. <laughs> we were still going, man. I know. It was tough. Shout out to your voice. It the was real tough. MVP. Uh-huh. Uh, the last, machine, remember. <laughs> the machine. Uh, the last award is funniest player. All time. E U L C S Officio. Yankos. Jokes. Not even not I even would actually an say forgiven. No, because your sense of humor is showing there. But, <laughs> um, no, I think uh, I think Yankos. I think Yankos has always been a bit of a, a jester, has always he 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 brings laughter to a room whether you like his jokes or not. Wait, does Hooney count? Oh <gasps> you oh, forgot about does. Hooney. Holo holo holo. Oh, ho, ho. oh that's she, yeah, I think he has to win actually. Because he so he was in LCK Challenger. Yeah, was he on an LCK team before he came to Europe? I forget between between him and Rainover. Uh, I think Rainover had played. Rainover and played, and he was known as Game Over. Yes, so and he had bad. one game. Right. Yes, and then then they came to Europe, and mm. then they demolished everyone in our region. Yeah, I um, think I think Huni finally. But he was like a big popular player. So Yankos Huni. Do we have anyone else that we're going to throw in there? Deficio is really funny. Yeah, what is with you and Deficio? I mean, yeah. he's funny, man. I mean, he wasn't funny back in the day. He, it's just tough. I mean, he for, made it's, an it's iconic tough thing. For Vettius. It's pretty funny. He still got dad. Yeah. <laughs> he lost other dad. He lost mom. Life's difficult. I want to give him an mom. award. Uh, <laughs> the thing is, there's a lot of players who do things that are stand up that, that, that have funny moments. True. But it's consistency that I'm looking for. In order to give a, a, a totally made up Hall of Fame award yeah, for six true. years, I, it's I mean, quite prestigious. And Yankos has been pretty consistently funny. For a long time. Sometimes right. I'm laughing at him. Sometimes I'm laughing what with is, him. What is the secret, Trevor? I don't know. That's what we're going to try to figure out. I've missed I've, a joke somewhere, apparently. Yeah, I, that was the mic wait, check. The Do you not remember check. what is the secret? You know what the secret? Oh, yeah. I forgot because we never found out what the secret was. We never found it out. He wouldn't tell Perks us. apparently knows. Is that the one really where Perks secret. has his face and he, it's ridiculously painted? Yeah. Yes. He was pasted in the um, Croatian flag because yeah. it was the World Cup and they were playing on the same day he was. Yeah. And then he said, now that I've got this flag on, we'll win. Because our team won, I think both lost. Yeah, <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say Yankos. I think uh, Yankos is still my favorite over Huni, even though Huni was good. Flash in the pan. It's true. It's brief. I feel like it's Yankos. All right. Well, I feel like I'm already outvoted. I would go Yankos. Oi, three to one. Right. My guy does it. Congratulations, Yankos. Dedious. All right. Well, that's it. We have best player. It's Soaz. Nothing was in contention. We didn't get our bet. No, because it I voted reckless. You had one job. No, all right, but what's the bet? Can you please tell me what the bet is? So this is the bet. Uh, I wrote it down somewhere. I didn't write it down anywhere. The bet is... <laughs> Go. Is that whoever loses, which it was supposed to be done by a Twitter poll when we disagreed here and then had which the audience... Which we will, because I'm still picking reckless and I'll take anyone who wants So it. that's what it is? Reckless versus so as. Okay, so now oh, this, this is the is bet. Oh, this is not fair. No, perfect. <laughs> this is good. The bet is... <laughs> What's Twitter gonna say, boys? You're awfully confident. I so as no, believe you're gonna stick to you your guns. So the bet is, is that you must wear a Spider-Man costume. Yeah. We're talking full, full head on. to suit. Your hands and feet can be free due to logistical reasons. I want because everything. we're going rock climbing, you and when and feet you are in me. the rock climbing gym as Spider-Man, you must be in character. You have to introduce yourself to everyone as Spider-Man. But I want to do this now. <laughs> okay, well, that, that, you're on the right side of this vote. <laughs> okay. But wait, hang on. Are we all doing it? Well, if we all lose. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Because it's oh, it be three of us? <laughs> you can go three of you one. I'll take you. No, well, now you I, get the opportunity. I, my boy Reckless doesn't lose Twitter polls. <laughs> I'm aware of that fact. Okay. Okay. I'm done. I'm you guys done. have this, to be fine. buy your own Spider Man costumes. I want to make that very clear. I'm not <laughs> okay. buying three Spider Man costumes. <laughs> <laughs> wait, can we also be like Spider Gwen? Yeah, it's fine. I mean, yeah. I'm not, okay. I'll be which, Spider Gwen. Which you can be whichever Spider universe's Spider person exactly. you want to be. And we'll just make our own new ver- uh, new universe here in the Spider Gym. In the Spider Gym. There That's we go. We'll call it. I don't know where we're going to find With a gym. Do we get the theme tune as well? And you so, can sing it in. Wait, hang on. So I can't remember. I feel like when Spider Man, when you'd have a transition, where would you have the. And then you'd have the spinning face. That's not Please tell me you remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that is Spider Man. It is a right? thing. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is Spider Man. Every cartoon in that era. What was correct. cartoon? Clear. Yeah, because I want because you'd get the you'd get the Spider Man, Spider Man, and then it would end, and then it would go and then Frost. it would cut to Spider Man. If it's Man. all three of us, if it's all three of us, we can ask the gym if they'll be up for it. If one of us can be sitting behind the reception desk in our outfit, <laughs> and the other two of us can be standing on the mat, <laughs> just pointing at each other. Right. So there we go. Okay. So. There you go. You see it. You see it. That's I want to be exactly. Spider-Man. Right. 3v1. Yeah. Wait, I'm on board. does anyone want to flip? 
so as reckless. You, you can flip. It's not too late. To I'm flip. not a flip flopper. I want to be, so I'm flipping. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just, let's go. To be clear, <laughs> this does not take away from your totally made up EOS. Yeah, because we're the panel. So as still one, you guys are the yes, panel. The public well. doesn't get involved, but the public will get to choose their own. So who is the greatest player of EU LCS history? I'm so as reckless. So as reckless. The there we go. Twitter Should will we make decide. a third I, option? And if we is, all wait, lose, is Lolly Esports making the tweet just so people know where to go? Or oh. I think we'll get the logistics. We'll They're figure they it don't matter. out. That yeah. don't matter right now. All right. I just want to tell I think people I where have to go. to make tweet because Lolly Sports is supposed to be impartial, right? And I'm obviously right. not because I picked those. Dan Drake goes Twitter. Yeah. That's where you go and then we'll if you want to vote. We'll retweet it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dan Drake goes. We'll okay. Lolly Sports. Nice. Cool. Sweet. Wow. Yeah. Transition. Transition. Well, Next. I'm Excellent. not doing it. Well, now That's we're fine. like we're good. We've we've narrowed it down. We have our bet. Everything is taken care of. The last thing I want to do is ask you guys because Trevor, I know you've seen the trailer because we've talked about it a lot. Have you seen the Spider-Man New Universe trailer? Are you are you ready? for the complexities of five spider people, six, six spider people, six, <laughs> six <laughs> spider people. One joke. See, this is what Ryan happens when he goes Ryan Ryan is very small. <laughs> uh, I'm super hyped when I first saw it. I loved the animation. I thought that it was very cool, very unique. Um, but also I didn't know about, so I've known of multiverse theory in the Marvel Universe, mm. but I didn't know of it in Spider-Man, and I also didn't realize that they spun off into actual different comic book universes that are just stories of their own. Yep. So now I'm really invested in Spider-Gwen, because she seems way cooler than Peter Parker. She is. Um, so <laughs> I, Calm down. And I really want to learn more about Gwenum because that seems to be really cool. Um, or Gwanda. I don't... Yeah, it would be awesome. I mean, the main thing is that the, the, the film is the very first time that anybody in the, the Spider-Man universe or really in, in any of the Marvel universes has focused so heavily on multiple versions of the same character. Like, if you actually think about it for a second, right? We were talking much earlier in the episode about how if you were a kid growing up in the 60s when Spider-Man was invented and then or on TV at least, um, and you grew up and then you became an animator or you became a script writer or you work in the film industry and you're like, well... I think I can tell Spider-Man's story better. And this is how I would do it. And some dude goes, that's a great idea. I'm going to pay you to do this. And then it spins off to Spider-Gwen or Peter Porker being Spider-Ham. Because in that universe, animals talk. Um, it's like Friends. And it, then exactly. Joey got his own spin-off. But like, no just, one just stop and say those sentences for a second. Imagine every single version of Joey from Friends. One where he has a job, where he is smart. One where he's a rocket scientist. One where he's a spaceman. Like that's, that's you know what I mean, <laughs> and then you put them all into a I just room. Want to say, exactly. <laughs> Anytime we get a friends metaphor, and I feel like we, we've a, we've, I forget our audience has probably never seen Friends. We're in a different. Probably. The ultimate yeah. dilemma would be which one is Chandler's real best friend. Scrubs. We could do Scrubs. I think is that's that right? even worse. You're really I down. Oh, I think <laughs> yeah. Is that the new one? I mean, yeah. I'm super. It's like I, the, the movie is just it's 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 everything that you love, and. The, the style, the content, everything is like so true to character. You know, Spider-Man Noir is, is, is Vedius, who, who we fell in love with last night when, when Vedius found out who Spider-Man Noir is. His dark and mysterious past. Voiced by Nicolas Cage, you know, really dark, a lot more like mature content than you're used to seeing from Spider-Man and Spider-Man villains in tone. Um, and it just, it just fits, you know, it just makes sense, which is strange because it doesn't sound like it should. I have to think the animation alone. I have an animation background, studied it in school. And so when I first heard that this movie was coming out and trying to figure out what they had done and all of like the technology that went into it, it has one of the largest animation teams on any movie. And I believe it was, our, it was conceived in uh, 2015. So think of how long a movie is going through that process and they have some hand-drawn elements in it where most of it is uh, CG, but things like the blast cards when it does like the explosions to make it look like a living, breathing comic book. Yeah. hand like that's crazy. As, a, as an animation uh, like enthusiast and an animation major, like uh, I'll just see it just for the, the style alone. I don't even care if it's Spider-Man. That's just like the cherry on top. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how about we just take a look at the new trailer for the new Spider-Man movie, Spider-Man, A New Universe. My name is Miles Morales, and in my world, bin ich der einzig wahre Spider-Man, bis er auftauchte. Das Cape geht gar nicht. Ich find's total cool. Spider-Man trägt kein Cape. Hey, Jungs. Wie viele Spider-Leute gibt's denn noch? Hey, Freunde. Hallo. Mein Name ist Peter Parker. Kann sich Spider-Man unsichtbar machen? Unglaublich. Ist das ein Fluchtkampfmechanismus? Was ist denn das? S 
This has been episode three of season 2.5 of Euphoria. We'll be back with season three, the first season in the LEC. And of course, you can check out Spider-Man, A New Universe in theaters now. Uh, you might even be watching us right now in theaters. How exciting is that? Thanks everyone for watching and we'll see you next season. Dark and mysterious. <laughs> <laughs>